So today, we have MCU Daredevil taking on MCU Black Widow. Who wins? Oh, let's find out. So, who's stronger? Well, Daredevil has routinely one-shotted and ragdolled foes, easily break bones, even to the point the bone is sticking out of their body, toss Punisher several meters, flip the massive Fisk on his back, and to fight evenly with Fisk and post-resurrection Elektra in brutal fights. But Black Widow was able to two-shot Hawkeye, who was brainwashed at the time, kick open a locked door, to send guys in Ultron centuries flying with kicks, and to fight against a brainwashed Winter Soldier. It's close, but I would say Matt has the edge here. What about durability? Well, Daredevil has withstood being sliced and cut to hell by Nobu, followed by a massive beating from Fisk, and remained conscious through all of it. He's walked off great falls and hits from Elektra as the Black Sky. He's withstood being hit over the head with a metal pipe by Fisk. He's even fought through a concussion, two to three broken ribs, and a knife wound that was causing his lungs to collapse. He even somehow survived a massive explosion, followed by a massive building collapsing on top of him at the end of the season one of the Defenders. His suit isn't bulletproof, uh, but, it is, but it does help with his nightly beatings, and his helmet actually stopped a bullet shot uh, from four to five feet away, but just barely. But Black Widow has withstood her own widow's bite and was only out for a couple of moments. She's kept on going uh, after being shot in the sho shoulder by Winter Soldier. And she's even remained conscious after a backhand from Hulk. That's insane, considering the Hulk is by far one of the strongest guys in the entire MCU. Only being surpassed by guys like Thanos and possibly Captain Marvel. Uh, I think it's definitely intended that Daredevil is more durable here. Uh, but not by much. So, what about speed and agility? Well, both of them are very fast and agile. Matt has routinely dodged bullets, dodged machine gun fire, dodged a point-blank bullet, and deflected several arrows in a row, as well as several of Dex's thrown projectiles. He's also an expert acrobat and parkour artist as well. Uh, but if there's anywhere that Nat is better physically, it's speed and agility. She's routinely evaded gunfire, even from six automatic turrets. She's dodged blast of fire from Ultron sentries. She's blitzed two guys while dodging bullets. But most impressively, she's knocked out two Hydra men in, in tech armor while in a cramped armored car before a grenade could explode. She's also routinely wrapped herself around foes to take them down, even multiple uh, foes at a time. So, both have their own physical advantages. What about fighting skill? Who is the better fighter? Well, both are extremely skilled fighters and martial artists. Matt was extensively trained by Stick since he was a boy to be a member of the Chaste. Stick taught him several martial arts and how to use his disability as an advantage, how to use his senses effectively while in a fight. Combine all of that plus his physicality, and you have one of the greatest fighters in the whole MCU. Arguably, in my opinion, the second greatest fighter in the entire MCU. He's bested Fisk, Nobu, Bakudo, Frank Castle, and Poindexter. He had the upper hand against Danny Rand in their brief fight, and he's even matched or even bested Elektra, even when she was amped as the Black Sky. Matt has bested all of them, and they're all and all of them are extremely skilled fighters in their own right. But although we don't know much about Natasha Romanoff's past as of now, this is why I can't wait to see her movie coming out. Uh, we do know she was extensively trained to be a lethal killer since a very young age in the Red Room, and even Madame B stated that Nat was her very best student. She's an excellent martial artist, and she perfectly utilizes her agility in combination with her skill to great effect. She's easily bested a group of security guards in the time it took Happy to knock out one of them, 
She's knocked out two Hydra agents in a cramped armored car before a grenade could go off. She's bested Hawkeye twice, even while he was brainwashed and trying to kill her, and she was holding back. She's bested a whole group of Russians while tied to a chair for most of the fight, and she's even held her own well against a brainwashed Winter Soldier. But despite how good she is, Daredevil is just better, because the only named character Nat has beaten was Clint. And his level of hand-to-hand -hand skill doesn't compare to Iron Fist, Electra's, or even Punisher's for that matter. Uh, now, I know, obviously, in her new movie coming out, she has to face Taskmaster. And probably bests him at, by the end of the movie, to some degree. But since the movie hasn't come out yet, I'm not going to use that here. And we don't even know if that even happens or not. Anyways, we're moving on. She might not be as skilled of a fighter as Matt, but that's okay. Because at the end of the day, she is a spy, and she has a lot of gear and weapons on her at all times. She normally carries a handgun or two, these small electrical discs that she can throw, uh, sometimes these two stun batons, but she always has her Widow's Bite as well, an electrical blast that was able to stun Black Panther despite his vibranium suit. Now, Daredevil does have his batons that he's incredibly accurate with and skilled with, He's so accurate to the point he's able to ricochet them off walls and other surfaces to hit foes from behind or the side. This is something Nat isn't used to fighting against. And then there's Matt's senses, especially his hearing and echolocation. He's going to know where uh, Black Widow is the entire time. So, who wins? Who's winning this great fight? Well... It's got to be Matt, simply because he just has more advantages. Yeah, Black Widow has her agility, her speed, and her versatility, but Daredevil is stronger, tougher, more skilled, can definitely hang in the speed and agility, agility uh, department, and he has his senses. Black Widow can win uh, a few if she really utilizes her versatility, especially her Widow's Bite, but Daredevil is winning the majority here. Daredevil wins. Like and subscribe if you did enjoy. Leave a comment of what you think and uh, hit the notification bell to be notified of all my future videos and all the great stuff. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.